I hadn't posted because I wanted something really positive to post about. And I wasn't going to do it until something came to me that I thought was really positive. Happy Sunday, by the way. I hope you're all doing well, feeling blessed, and uh, in high spirits. So anyways, um, yesterday I went to the remate and uh, bought some more tunas. The cactus fruit, prickly pears. Put them in the fridge, because you got to eat them cold. I don't know if I specified that in the video I made celebrating them. Um... But you got to eat them cold. So I put them in the fridge and I ate one last night. It was delicious. Ate one this morning. It was it was just hella refreshing. And they taste good to me. You know, they're sweet. Um, I like the texture. They're, they're just amazing, right? And um, lately, because now I watch my blood sugar, I'm like, uh, I wonder what the glycemic index is for them. And that's something that you know, people who watch their blood sugar, diabetics, what have you, um, look to for guidance on what foods will spike their blood and which foods will um, maybe even bring it down, uh, the sugar, right? And you always think sweet is, is sugar and, and it brings it up. And so I googled glycemic index for uh, cactus fruit, uh, prickly pears, tunas. And um, there was this study and that came up. And it was using the tunas interchangeably with nopales. And it calls it nopales in Spanish because the study was on, you know, cultural um, beliefs as far as healing and how those could be used in treatment. And it said that Mexicans, you know, and, you know, I'm guessing other folks from uh, Latino America um, eat nopales in the belief that they're good for you. I know that we were always told, I was always told, you know, these they're healthy, they're good for you. They they lower your cholesterol, they do this, they, they, they do that. Um, and this study was saying that it does do that, you know, the, the, the initial studies and they gave percentages of... How much, um, you know, it slowed your blood from rising, your sugar from rising when you ate like chilaquiles with cheese and beans, burritos. They had them eat three different kinds of food. And then I thought, all right, well, they're using it interchangeably. I want to hear about the cactus fruit specifically. And so I Google specifically, you know, the cactus fruit and glycemic index. And, you know, I just read the paragraph initially and it was like so positive to me that um, I ran to make this video because that was the positive video I wanted. Um, it said that you should eat a tuna every day. Um, and to be careful that you don't eat them if you take medicine for uh, glucose control because it can make you hypoglycemic, which is your blood sugar is too low. And I was like, damn, that shit sounds pretty powerful if, you know, um, it can do all that. And I've been eating them. And um, and I think I said I made a video where it's like, hey, man, I don't even take the medicine no more. And, and my my sh my, nor my levels remain, you know, normal. And uh, and I wonder if it's because I've been eating like just hella tunas like in the last two weeks. And so like, yesterday I made a trip to go get some more. And uh, I bought twice as much as last time. And I don't know if they're going to last even as long as last time. Because now that I know they're so good for you, uh, I'm just going to be eating them all the time. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that was the positive video, man. And that's why, you know, research is important, too. Because I kind of make these videos uh, flying by the seat of my pants. And... Um, this would have been helpful to include in that original video celebrating La Tuna. But, um, you know, I didn't. And that gave me something positive, man. Because I was, like, really wanting something just really good to talk about. And uh, and that's it. You know, that's it. it. It's it's like part of my culture to eat those things. I haven't been eating them as much. But I do like them. Um I would eat them mostly, like my mom would make nopales with, with food for me or I meet with my relatives from the Central Valley and, and they would always bring uh, this, 
it's like pico de gallo, but it's got nopales in it as well. And, you know, we put that on the beans and then, like, next to the enchiladas. Uh, I think my profile picture has them on there. Um, but I'm going to start making them myself and, and eating the nopales more. But um, the tunas are super easy. Like, just chop, chop, slice, crack open. Um, and cold, man, they're hella good. And, and now, you know, it turns out they're healthy. And it's almost like counterintuitive and even like miraculous that's how i feel because you think i hope i'm not repeating myself but when you think of sweet because they're sweet you think sugar and you think okay if you eat the sugar it's, it's going to make your sugar go up but really it actually brings it down from the articles i read on um you know just on google and i'm not a doctor so don't take this as any kind of medical advice you know, talk to your doctor about it. Do your own research. Um, but it's out there. I mean, I didn't have to dig. It, it came up fairly easy. You can Google glycemic index for prickly pears, cactus fruits. So that's my positive video. And then, again, about to cut that little pepper off and eat them today. That's something else that's pretty positive and I'm happy about. And um, I just hope everybody has a good day, stays positive, and... Um, you know, you got one life to live, man. You got to enjoy that motherfucker, man. Don't spend that shit mad and, and um, unhealthy. So much love. Peace out.